everyone. It is Sunday and it is Father's Day today. And happy Father's Day to everybody. Hope you're enjoying your day. And we're in Niagara Falls and we're at the corner of Victoria Avenue and Bridge Street. And looks like they're building a new roundabout right here. It's under construction. And then if you head this way over that bridge, that takes you to Great Wolf Lodge. And you can see the helicopter flying over there. There's, that's the way to the helicopter rides. And we're gonna take a walk down uh, Victoria Avenue and head towards the tourist area and just do some exploring here. So let's go. So some things I do know on this street and some things I don't. This is a little bit away from the tourist area, but I thought I'd just show you a little, something a little different uh, from the normal, you know, busy um, area with all the attractions. And then we'll make our way down towards uh, Clifton Hill near the end of our walk. But there is some neat things on this street. So I might as well take you and show you them in case you decide to visit and you want to explore something different, then you know where to go. So you can see there's a nice mural here and it's for the Evil Knievel Museum. Yeah, there's an Evil Knievel Museum here and it's pointing to the direction where it is and it's right across the street from it. So I've never been there, but I'd love to go there sometime. It's at this place right here. And there's also um, an antique store in there, collectibles, really, really neat place. That I have been in and there's some really, really neat things there. And I'll take in so you can see in the window in a minute. But let's look at this cool mural for a second. Pretty good um, artwork, I think. Pretty nice. So it looks like there's another antique place here, Douglas Pool Antique Selections. Doesn't look like it's open though. Oh, and there's the mega bus. Someone told me once that if you book it far enough ahead of time, you can ride it for a, a dollar. I don't know if that's true or not. Sorry if there's a little noise, but it's a little bit windy right here. We'll just take you by this building here and show you. So there you go, old Emporium. And you can see the nice picture of Evil Knievel on it um, with the motorcycle. He was really well known for that. take you around the other side too to show you the nice murals. A great loss because he has painted more murals in Toronto, Mississauga, Hamilton, as well as he's an artist. We have a bunch in the museum, we have a bunch of his stuff on display. Well, this looks amazing. Yes. And he painted all this? He painted it all uh, back in 95, 95, 96, but nine, 95. Oh, I can see the date yeah. there, oh yeah. And what was his name again? Theodore Ziegler. Ziegler, oh, okay. Wow, and that's too bad. his sister has clothing stores throughout Hamilton, Niagara. Her name is Colleen Ziegler. She has her own brand of clothes. Oh, kind of style Ziegler's. Hippie. Okay, does she have a store in Crystal Beach at all? Yeah. I met her. Nice girl. 
I just did a walk there like a couple weeks ago and she said come into my store and I'm like okay so yeah I walked around and oh that's too bad oh that's sad he was a great guy not just because he did work for us but he just his whole story is, is really he never got the accolades and, and press and media that he really should have because he is probably one of Canada's, without question, the best, well, to, just to know how good he is, if you go to former Toronto police officer who owns five of the Tim Hortons here now. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. Right? And see the paintings. Tom is a, uh, he is a, uh, what do you call that? Uh, does like 50 kilometer runs. He's really an athlete. Oh, like marathons? Marathon. Yeah. Right? And he had in his home, he has a big home, he bought a doctor's home here in the phone. He did a mural of Tom running across this big marathon in, I don't know, some big bridge in out east, some massive bridge, and it was one of the longest, uh, well, uh, Competition, they had so many people running this race. Is it Ambassador Road? Where was this? Brunswick, it's down east. Okay. Anyways, and Tom like a triathlon, something like this. Yeah. Right? And they have the picture of Tom. What a, what a painting! It's like 12 feet long. It's in his home, right? But he owns pretty much. He owns the mm. casino with the Falls View, the one on McLeod Road, the one in, in Chippewa. Uh, two or three other ones. I think it was five or six. Tim Hortons. Wow. Ex -cop. Okay. Nice guy. And uh, in spite of being a former cop, he's a nice guy. But <laughs> 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 he's been already. I've known Tom. Nice. Years. Interesting. And, uh, the guys, the people that were here, they wanted to know what this was. And yep. what this was is Theodore was very um, concerned about the early black settlers. Okay. And the Underground oh, Railway. And I see that, now. And, and how blacks really don't really kind of get a chance like other skinned people. So right. He was. He was good. And I, he put. He said, "You know, I hope you don't mind what I'm going to do." He says, "I know we got the Daredevil theme with all us." He says, "But uh, the real Daredevils were the black people trying to come and start a life for themselves." And I said, "Well, you're absolutely right." That's so interesting. So I've always been a donor to the. Uh, group here from Niagara Falls, yep. Mr. Thompson was a big I found in one of my, uh, I did an estate for some lawyers, and in the basement of this 1800s room were all the shackles and the handcuffs back from the 1800s. Oh, I gave wow. them to the museum as, as a wow. gift for the museum, and uh, uh, Mr. Thompson said he was so thrilled. He says, uh, and on the other side of it, we have some of the most early stuff from the Ku Klux Klan. You do? Did, yeah, we in our museum. Oh, okay. Do you know that the Ku Klux Klan was so large here in the Niagara Peninsula and Hamilton? I did not know that. that. In the 20s, do you know that as many as 500 Klansmen on horseback ran through King Street in Hamilton, right down King Street? And if you go with the Hamilton Spectator, they'll show you pictures. They have pictures of how heavy the Klansmen were here. And most of them were brought in here and established by the uh, the Freemason Lodge, the Masonic Order, is one that, that assisted them to coming to the Niagara region. And uh, as a matter of fact, I, I think in the book, um, it's pretty much in every library in Niagara Falls, there was right when I read a copy of it. Okay. But it's the Klansmen, in the, the Klansmen established in Niagara. Is what the, Interesting. Someone told me, um, one of my viewers that just recently has been watching my videos, told me that there is a place off of Main Street, on a side street on Main Street, that was part of the Underground Railroad. He, he grew there up here. There's a church there, yeah. There yeah, there's the Ukrainian too. church. Yes, that's it. I think that's what he was yeah. talking about. The person about. that knows that, actually, I just dropped them off. <laughs> they're, uh, they're, uh, the Ukrainian descent, but their family goes back here in the region. Over here, this this was this was our first. We used to have a lino.
big hanging up there. Oh, okay. So how long were you at this place? About 14 years. Okay. So why did you move from there to here? Just bigger? Because I didn't. I we used to own the museum at the Maple Leaf Village there. Yes, I remember. And Maple I owned Leaf that incredible museum in there. You did? Oh my yeah. god. So what I did was then we encompassed it with this. Have you been in our museum, right? No, not yet. No, no I'm going to. Oh, you got to come. You said you're open on the weekend, so well, when yeah, I... Yeah, we have it open Friday and Saturday. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring my, uh, bring someone with me that will enjoy it. Oh, I don't yeah, want to just come by your, myself. The husband, boyfriend, kids, kids yeah. love it. Yeah. So bring anybody. Okay. Yeah, bring your I girlfriend, will. anybody. I'm just interested in the evil Knievel part of it. Oh, yeah. I used to love watching him as little. I just put, uh, I just put all the contacts for sale too. So we sold the bottom of the house. But in, in place of that, we bought Bobby and Evil to dump the Grand Canyon. Yeah. We bought his motorcycle and all his letters and his helmet. So we have that in the place where the rocket used to be. Wow. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Louis Vuitton race bike raced in the Isle of Man. You should see it. Well, Girls see, now I gotta up. come. <laughs> Even the rims are cut away from the It's beautiful. Oh, wow. And then we've got Elvis. We have a guy coming next week to, to view and uh, make an offer on Elvis' guitar. We have that. Uh oh. Like I that bet. That well, then how am I gonna see it before it's gone? Oh, you have to go see that. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Cool. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I will. Yeah, if you need anything else, I gave you a card. Before. You yes, I have your card. Right. Um, oh, my goodness. He was so nice. So friendly. I had to cut some out because we would. I know you guys don't want to hear our whole conversation of everything, but I am telling you, he has stories, that's for sure, and he is putting this place up for sale. It's going to be, it's not going to be here anymore, so if you come to the falls, you should come and see the museum, the Evil Knievel Museum, and there's some really cool stuff in here, and I'm going to get a video of that um, for sure. Maybe next weekend I'll come and see it and then I can show you guys. That would be awesome. But he says there's even things uh, in there that are not all Evil Knievel related. There's even some things of Elvis Presley in there. Oh, look at this cool jacket. So, yeah, so I'll come back and have a look in there and show you guys. But what a nice man. So, very interesting. I can probably... I probably could have talked to him for quite a while. So, there's the, just gives you an idea of just his um, collectible store, what's in the window, really interesting, unique things. Okay, so let's make our way down here. He even has a giant tiger in the window. Somebody might, and it looks like that's like from a carousel ride. Really unique and interesting. Really nice. Star Wars things. Really nice. There it is. The Evil Knievel Daredevil Museum. So if you have a chance, come down here. It's not that far of a walk from uh, Clifton Hill. Maybe 20 minutes. Oh, look at this cool guy too. Very interesting. There's probably some really nice things in there to take home. All right. So now across the street, there's a little variety store here. Victoria and Maple Variety Store. And we're just coming up to St. Patrick Catholic Church. And there's even St. Patrick Catholic School right next door. Pups, different shops over here. Hello. There's Mr. Cappuccino right here. Nice little cafe. Okay. Oh, and this is uh, Queen Street. So this is the downtown of Niagara Falls. Some people think Clifton Hill is the downtown area. It is not. And here's a nice view of St. Patrick's Church. Beautiful church.
I love the architecture of this church. I wonder what year that church was built in. If anyone knows, let me know what year this was built. I'd like to know. Beautiful wooden door too. Look at the big archway. Really nice. And now we're just, oh, they have a hall too. Oh, look at this cool fella. I'm gonna try, let's get a close up of him. Look at this unique guy right here. Isn't he nice? All carved, hand carved out of wood. Oh, beautiful. St. Patrick's Hall. And every Tuesday evening, here in the falls is a car show so if you want something different to do if you're visiting that is something something fun to do and you get to see some cool classic cars coming up to this is another entrance way to downtown another way to get there neat art on the building here for the pharmacy. Niagara Falls Community Healthcare. here called the chicken hut a little food truck type of thing that must be something good okay so now we're at Niagara Falls riders this is where you can rent those really cool looking cars that's one of them anyways and there's the phone number on the sign for you if you ever decide to do that I always see them driving around when I come here it's Niagara variety This is the Niagara Falls Public Library across the street. So Tim Hortons here. People love their Timmies, like me. <laughs> it says $1.99.9 for gas. just keeps going higher and higher and across the street we've got basil's restaurant or basil's restaurant so yeah this isn't a very popular place for the tourists but there's some really unique and different things to see down here if you want to take a walk down here I bet you back in the day it was probably a very popular place oh there's a cool little mural right there 
Don't get carried away. <laughs> Don't get towed. Passing Wilmot Street. Oh, someone's got the flag up there in the window. Some of these houses here are very, very old. Cheryl's Deli and Subs. There's a Pete's Pizza here. They have good pizza. There's an auction house here. Border Town Auction House. Estate Sales Specialist and Auctioneer. Oh, they have some really interesting things in here too. <laughs> They've got the really cool Coca-Cola coolers. Look at the old sewing machines. My grandmother had one sort of like that one right there. A little bit more fancier though, I think, the one that my grandmother had. But similar, similar to that. Really interesting. Well, it's just more of that store. Quite a big store. Niagara coin and collectibles. Seems like there's quite a few collectible shops along here. And there's tattoo place, hair tattoo studio. Niagara Falls taxi. I guess that's where their main office is. Another auction place. So many of them around here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. That looks like Pelican. Oh my gosh, I love Pelicans. Wonder how much those are going for. And it's got seashells in it and he's a planter. How cool. I'm gonna have to come back and visit this place for that. Interesting. Must have been an old shop at one time. Hello. Look at this old home right here. Wonder what it is. It's all boarded up right now. It says something though. Let's go see what that sign says. Oh, it's Heritage Landmark. Oh. Well, it makes sense. It's nice. Hello. It's really nice building. Wonder what year that is. Anybody? Anybody have an idea what when that might have been built? We have the armories here, and we're at Armory Street too. How funny. Now, I think there's a museum here. I think I saw online that there's a museum because I just saw something about an article. I thought, oh yeah, it is. Niagara Military Museum is open. Oh, beautiful roses here too. And they smell really good too. Planted by the Niagara Falls Horticulture Society. So there you go, that's a pretty old armory too. That'd be an interesting place to visit, see something else different to do. And then we got shops across the street. Don't want to miss anything on our little tour here. Oh, but this. The Country Fresh Donuts um, Donut Shop. They are well known for their wonton soup and I mentioned that before, but if you get a chance, if you're coming to visit, you have to try their wonton soup. It is amazingly delicious. So it's right there. 
and uh, someone from the channel called Hidden Jackpots did a review on that so uh, you might want to check that out if you get a chance he did a review of their wonton soup it is so good like whenever I come to see the Festival of Lights that's uh, a must stop Country Fresh Donuts at the corner of Victoria Street and Jepson Street. And then they put, um, I think it's beef, chunks of beef or it's pork in their soup and it's smoked and it has like a really nice pink color to it and it's just delicious. Anyways. <laughs> neat little hot dog stand there if you need to rent a car it's a rental place all kinds of newer shops down here the subway shops drug mart As we make our way down this way, it's getting a little, we're coming to the busier area. Busy Bee Food Mart. I wonder what that used to be. I wonder if that used to be some type of restaurant here. It looks like it could have been. See, places like that I find interesting. Like, what used to be there? Look, they even have a payphone here, too. You don't see those too much anymore. An old payphone. Some nice older homes still here. Wow, look at this one here on the corner. It's very nice. I love the rounded peak on the roof. And just that part of the house is really nice. There's another one down there. It looks really interesting down there with the wood. Beautiful. Grocery. Now, what do you guys say? Grocery or grocery? <laughs> I don't know why I say it like that. My mom always said it like that. I think that's why. Kent School. Sushi restaurant here. Taku. Taku or Taku? Sushi and ramen restaurant. Smells really good. Another one here, 420 Turnpike Pub and Eatery. Yes, we are open. That's interesting. It almost looks like that might have been some type of, I don't know what that would have been before. It's different building. Oh, here's the old Bell Building. Someone had mentioned that to me. So here it is. Start here. Here's the bell building. La Sultana Lounge. Let's relax a while. It says it's open. Red Maple Health and Gift Center. Doesn't look like they're open anymore. Looks like they're out of business. 
And you can see now, you can start to see the hotels, Skyline Tower. that only two days away first day of summer i'm excited for that already feels like summer though to me nice day today i think it was said it was 24 degrees celsius pretty nice day for father's day a little breezy in parts but that's not too bad at all well there goes one of those helicopters coming up to the lights here and this is where if you want to come to um, the busy tourist area this is where you would get off the highway at this stop here and just below us is like a tunnel way to go to takes you down by the falls and also to the uh, the border to cross over into um, Niagara Falls, New York. There's all kinds of little shops over here on the left. Restaurants, pierogies, European Elvis Deli, European Delicatessen. Mmm, I love pierogies. Elvis, there's a picture of Elvis. Cool. I wonder why it's called Elvis Deli, European Deli. Oh, it looks like they have a lot of different things there. Drinks, snacks, cabbage rolls. It's not open though. Pretty flowers. Sandstone Grill House. Steak, seafood, and Italian. Mmm, that sounds good. It's another nice place here. A little cafe, Italian ice cream. Mmm. Sushi so. Korean barbecue. Korean Japanese cuisines. It's got a big cow on its roof. It's different. Angus reserve steaks. Well, that's probably why. Because they have Angus steak. Established 1974. Oh, that's been here a while. There's that sushi place again. It's a tour company, Over the Falls Tours, Inc. Oh, there you go. If you want to come do some sightseeing, there's a tour bus you can take. This nice little church right here, part of the church. St. Paul's. Evangelical Lutheran Church. It's a nice stone church. Niagara German Canadian Club. This used to be a Japanese restaurant, I think, but it's not there anymore. Coming up to Bender Street, if you you can turn here, and that will take you down uh, to Falls Avenue, and then you can go into like Niagara Parks, and right along the falls, you can drive along there. And we're just going to head up here to the lights at Clifton Hill and then that will be it for our walk today. Clifton 
Victoria Inn at the Falls. So I hope you're enjoying the walk so far today. Well, I'm really looking forward to going to check out that Evil Knievel Museum. That will be interesting to see that. along here there's all kinds of shops and restaurants and there's nightmares if you like to get scared nightmares fear factory over a hundred thousand chickened out it's that scary yikes I couldn't do it not unless someone went with me Often in there. Oh, I was just talking to someone about this yesterday. This place here, it's called Wine Keller, but it used to be uh, the Wild Mushroom Restaurant. I've been there a couple times when it was that. It was a long time ago. I was just remember about that talking to someone about that I think yesterday and this is Casino Niagara right here and then they have the big Falls View water park on top of the parking garage it's very unique Falls Hot, oh, Falls Hotel and Inn. There's Remington Steak and Seafood Restaurant. Oh, there's goes, there, there goes one of those cars. Oh, there's another one. See you now when I see that. It's tempting me to go down Clifton Hill, but I'm not doing that today. There's the upside down house. Oh, trick art box. I've seen this. Okay. This is a newer place. 3D Art Museum. Instagram. Thursday promo. Oh, then you can get your antique photo here. Those are always fun. You can dress like from way back in the day in really nice outfits and take your photo. That would be fun to do that. Faux ginger. Lots of souvenir shops coming up now. They're still working on the Ripley's Moving Theater for the new museum that's supposed to be coming there. Works. You know, it's getting much busier. Lots of people on the speedway having fun, go-karting. 
candy store. Burger Factory looks pretty delicious. Funnel cakes, fresh burgers. Clifton Hill now. Uh, we're just going to make our way, continue on. Uh, what was Victoria Street is now turning into Ferry Street, I think. There's lots of shops here and restaurants. Oh, look at this nice car. A nice yellow car. Montana's. Be kind. Yeah, if you like um, ribs and things like that, they have, it's pretty good there. Montana's. A gift shop and smoke place. Well, I think we're going to come to the end of our walk shortly, everybody. I think that's pretty far enough. If you need swim shorts or anything, you can pick up some here in case you forgot yours. Let's look at the people go-karting for a minute. They're having fun. Pizza. If you like pizza, this is the place to come to. It's really good. <laughs> they also have outdoor patios. Nice big one. You can sit outside and enjoy your meal. Coming up to Mamma Mia's Italian Eatery. Now I'm trying to remember if this was the restaurant that used to be the Love Boat. Anybody know? Let me know. You can get your name written on a grain of rice. Interesting. How was that? Oh yeah, you can see it in there. Can you see that? Huh, that's so cool. <laughs> Hello. Get your sketch done. You want to have a nice memory made and get your sketch done here. There's a shisha restaurant right here. It's always popular. Lots of places to eat here, that's for sure. Oh, look at this nice little shop here coming up. Look at cool lamps. Wow. It's really neat. Smokes Poutinery. 
So yeah, this walk today is just kind of like a, I guess you could say a guided tour, <laughs> showing you all the different things along the street. But we're just gonna end it up here. I think we'll walk up to, I can see, the cross from the Starbucks up here and then we'll end it. Thank you. Pizza Hut and Baskin Robbins ice cream. I haven't had one of those in ages. Everybody's enjoying their treats. Now, would it be the same without the WeGo bus going by? Of course not. of the Skyline Tower. Seems like a good spot. So I hope you all enjoyed the walk. Thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.